Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Ansar. In this video, we are going to talk about future perfect tense. Future perfect tense. In this tense, we use will have plus v3 form. To express this tense, we have the structure will have plus v3 form. v3 form means verb third form. Let us learn with the help of some examples. Now you are in present. We are in present now. We are in present and we are talking about future future so so for john there is exam tomorrow there is exam for john e exam well, john will start his exam at two o'clock or john will take his exam at two o'clock the timing of exam is two to four so after four okay this is a specific time so what is that one action will be completed before a specific time in the future so here action will be over here at four o'clock. So what what can we say in the in present in we are we are in present and we can say that by four o'clock John will have taken the exam. John will have taken the exam by four o'clock. John char baje tak apna exam lik chuka honga. John will have taken the exam. Another example by nine o'clock we will have completed our work. We will have completed our work by eight o'clock. They will have done their homework by eight o'clock. Eight baje tak wo apna homework kar chuke honge. So some common expressions are here. Before, by the by the time, by nine o'clock, by Monday, by next summer, by next June, etc. So here the another use of this one action will be completed before another action in the future. What is another action? What is another action? Look at here. Before my father arrived, before my father arrived, I will have learnt English lessons. मैं अपने English lessons सीख चुका होगा मेरे father आने से पहले. So this is before another action. Before another action. What is one before? Before my father arrived, I will have learnt English lessons. By next Monday, we will have completed our syllabus. So you can notice that I have used will have plus v3 form. Will have plus v3 form. So this is a structure of future perfect tense or identification of future perfect tense. So here, John will have taken the exam. This is a positive. How can you make negative? John will not have not the word not we have to introduce between will and have. John will not have taken the exam. John will not have taken the exam. Question: How to make question easy for us to make question? Just switch over the words. Okay. Will John have taken the exam? Will John have taken the exam? This is a question. Then what are the you know possible answers? Yes or no? That is very common. Now WH question: When will John have taken the exam? When? Where will John have taken the exam? Why will John have taken the exam? How will John have taken the exam? How many exams will John have taken? How many exams will John have taken? Last one, which exam will John have taken? I hope you have understood this lesson. Thank you for watching my videos.